Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. As I can surmise, no individual ask to come upon this earth or planned their coming. So being here is under the authority of another. Being here, you have the basic human rights to live here with a certain amount of provisions prepared. With that done, personal motivation will move you to do what must be what you must do to survive. And time will teach advancement. You live here, are entitled to live here, in peace, to be prosperous, free, joyous, and happy, and to live your dreams. And this will happen when you are satisfied. Uh, this might be easily understood as an individual, but what about 300 million individuals? How can satisfaction come to the masses at the same time? Well, practice what you learned as an, in, as an individual. Be involved. Do your part. 300 million doing their part. The easy part is that together you don't have to do as much. You only have to take part. And you choose the best part for you. And as the master planner has it designed that you might live heavenly on earth as the outcome. However, choice was extended. You don't have to practice this approach. You can choose another. You can choose from 300 million, yet only the design choice will establish a satisfied humanity. All else is a form of hell, whether it's communistic socialism or capitalistic democracy or dictators or whatever else you might have. So what I'm saying to all of the people who might hear my voice, We've lived on this earth all of our lives where we've experienced hatred, bigotry, racism, lies, some guys, some don't. We have seen it in our daily lives. And our history tells us even worse. But as we observe our present, we see people are trying to take us back as if they know nothing about our history. I stand to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, we need to go forward with a future that we've never experienced, but we've always had before us and didn't know. And that is, each of us, using the free resources that God has given us on this earth, each of us, using our gifts and talents, donating it to exercise our gifts and talents, to create from those resources enough goods and services in such an abundance that no one would ever have to suffer for a lack of anything. Then we can live in peace because we have our food, we have our clothing, our shelter, our education, our health care, our transportation, and anything that man has built, we have access to it because we all participated in the process and we are all owners of it. That's the secret of God's plan for living heavenly on earth. And everything else is a lie. And unless we are living heavenly on earth, then we are all participating in the lie. Thank you.